Okay, what we're going to do here is a demonstration of alt run mode in VPX, specifically for launching either with a pup pack or without a pup pack. Now, this is uh, a cousin uh, of uh, alt run mode. If you're familiar with uh, Pinball FX3, where you can launch a single uh, table either it's single player, two, three, or four players. And this is also somewhat of a bastardized um, cousin of uh, VPM Alias, um, which is fairly new. And uh, John Memio j uh, just did a revised video of it. And if you haven't checked it out, very cool job. Nice job, John, um, explaining how, when, and why to use it. Um, the alias, the VPM alias will, uh, you know, has a bunch of use cases. Uh, most useful is when you have two tables, one's a reskin, <clears throat> uh, two VPX tables addressing the same ROM, or also if you have different uh, DOF profiles, configurations. But uh, this is a little different. <clears throat> this is running a single VPX table giving you the choice of launching it either with a back glass or without a back glass, uh, with a pup pack or without a pup pack, you know, pup pack or back glass. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, I, I would guess a lot of you probably would have no need. You know, you grab the pup pack and you're done. Um, but uh, there are several uh, reasons why you would probably want to do this. Um, personally, I like options. This gives you the option, a single VPX table launched, um, with the pup pack, not the pup pack. Uh, maybe a pup pack is not that great. <clears throat> and then for the historical preservationists out there in the spirit of, um, the original intention of visual pinball, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, um, where creating a table in its as close to its original form. Uh, this would kind of satisfy those, those people, you know, uh, pup packs weren't a thing, you know, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Uh, also I'm a big stickler for clean scripts and clean file management. <clears throat> and this kind of satisfies, uh, those. Uh, the only time I would ever want to see multiple game list entries for a version of a table uh, uh, for a table would be for multiple versions by different authors. You know, maybe a 4K version of a table or just a different version of a table by different authors that, you know, plays differently. Like I have a bunch, KISS, ACDC, Guns N' Roses, uh... Tales of the Arabian Nights, etc. So for me, in my default uh, VPX playlist, I don't want to see uh, multiple wheels unless it's uh, denote. You know, in my brain, it's a different version of the table. <clears throat> Why else would you want to do this? Um, there may be those, you know, those of you out there that have, you know, maybe older hardware that may have difficult times. Running pup packs, specific pup packs, all pup packs, and maybe you're, you're scraping together money to do a hardware update. Well, this will allow you to keep up with the updates and releases. Uh, you know, usually the, the discourse is you grab a table, you grab the back glass, and somewhere down the line, maybe somebody releases a pup pack for it. Well, with this solution, you can always keep your files in the default locations. The, the back glass table, uh, the back glass stays in the tables folder. The pup packs go in the, you know, pop videos folders. So everything stays where they should be. Um, you don't have to go back and delete and remove uh, animated back glasses and whatnot. So everything stays in the default locations, nice and clean. <clears throat> um, all right, so the remainder of this video, if you're still with me, 
is uh, I'm going to demonstrate the usual suspect, um, you know, the usual guinea pig attack from Mars. I've already done that last night with this solution. Uh, and then I'm going to go into the launch scripts and the table scripts and uh, show you that. And at the very end, uh, hopefully this doesn't take too much time, but uh, we're going to do one for another table so you can see the process. It's really easy. Uh, it seems more daunting than it actually is. It's copy and paste two lines in the table script. Um, get get the table into your games list and then, you know, download the media and uh, add two words to the to two fields in the game game list manager. So, um, you know, again, another so uh, good case for doing it this way with one VPX table is pop media. Every time you add a new entry to your game list, you need a whole total unique set of pop media. Well, with all the tables coming out and all the pop packs coming out, you, the, the rate we're going with this new renaissance of visual pinball, you're going to fill up that one terabyte hard drive pretty quick. So, or, you know, quick, yeah, that's relative, but soon. All right, so I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what I did with Attack from Mars. I'm going to launch it three times. <clears throat> the default I have for it to launch is with the pup pack. So in the default uh, VPX playlist, if you just go straight into the table, it'll launch the pup pack. And then I created a sub menu. And then there are two options for launch. One is pup pack and one is no pup pack. So let's go to attack from Mars and then launch it. You'll see what I mean here. Here's attack from Mars. Let's just launch it. We are invincible. That's my old pop media on the back glass. And that's a pop media topper. And then there's the pop pack. All right. Let's escape out of it. Out, and we'll go to the sub menu. Now, if I launch this right here, it'll launch the pup pack. This is the back glass version. So, like I said, we'll launch. We are invincible. And there's the pup pack again. Put it out of the table, go to sub menu, no pop. So let's start, no pop. And this will just be the back glass. And there it is, we're in the game, and that's just the back glass. And that's my pop media topper that stayed on. And all right, here we go. We'll escape out of this. Exit popper. Get the music off. All right. Let's go through how to do this. And it really isn't that difficult, to tell you the truth. Um, here's, here are the two lines for the table script. I'll post screenshots. Right, it's really easy. Let's uh, open up Attack from Mars. And here are the two lines. I want to pause the video and get those real easy. So it's using a uh, custom parameter um, from Popper. You can now uh, send a custom parameter to via command line uh, on launch. So the top one basically uh, is no pop. 
which says hide all the pup displays. And then the second line uh, is when you launch the pup, it just turns the back glass off. Real simple. All right. So let's get into Popper. Uh, we'll go to Games Manager. And I'll show you the added fields in Attack from Mars. Okay. Jan, if you want to take a screenshot or pause the video, I'll try to post screenshots. What I added was under custom launch param, the word dual. That's just my trigger for um, having alt mode. I'm going to trap a condition in the launch script for that. <clears throat> and then the alt. The only other alt run is no pup. Like I said, the default is pup. The option is no pup. All right, let's just escape out of that. Um, you will need a wheel, pinup system, pop media. Default system and that's what I'm using nopup.png to bring up uh, the alternate wheel to launch uh, back glass only okay launch script for this real simple don't be intimidated okay Again, if you want to pause the video, I'll bring up an image. Might be able to see it better. That's the table script. Okay, here we go. Sorry for the glare. All right, so that dual flag in games list, you know, once custom one is dual, this is a dual launch table. You know, I'm telling Popper that, hey, give me a choice of launching either with the pup or without the pup. And that first set alt param to pup, that's my default. Second one, if it's no pup, send no pup to the um, command line. So if you do regular command line, it'd be launch the emulator, VP, vpinball.exe, uh, you know, from a command prompt, uh, table name, and then it'll add dash C1, which we did in the table script. That's what dash C1 is, get custom param one. And which one? No pup or pup? So I'm setting it to no pup on that first one. And the second one, if it's not no pup, send pup. So based on whether I chose no pup or pup, obviously, send that in the command line. And then all I did was um, this uh, record mode should look familiar to you guys. If you're doing auto record and recording of your media just added that alt param at the end of the start launch script that's about it all right so that's the way that works let's get out of this let's do one we'll do one on the fly to see what's going on here just so you know how to do it all right um so I know I recently downloaded a pup pack for Elvis and so okay, here, here's my tables folder and in the past what I was doing was uh, moving the uh, animated back glass into this folder, you know, prefixed by a tilde, which 
pushes that folder up to the top, little trick. All right, so. Okay. Looks like Elvis is already in there because I did a test before. There it is. There's Elvis. So I'm gonna copy these two lines. Copy. So the pup pack's already in its folder. The back glass is in its folder. You know, the usual process. You download the game, enter it to your games list, get your media, <clears throat> and then what you do, what most of us do is when we get a table, we open the script, the table script in the editor. And here's my table script. And you look for table knit controller somewhere in here. I usually put it after hidden. Enter. Paste. And I put little comments that I added that. Let's get this uh, tab, tab, space. Tab, tab, space. Okay. Compile. Y'all. Close. Save. Exit. Go back into setup. Games manager. Let's go find Elvis in the games manager. Filter by VPX. Elvis. All right. Cost, custom launch pram. That's custom one. But dual. Real easy. If I can spell it. What's the alternate run mode? No pup. No pup. Save. Bang. Okay, so let's uh, check out Elvis. But this should start right up in the pup. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. And there we go. We're in the table, and we got pup. Skip out. Let's go to sub menu. Let's launch back glass only. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. All right, back glass only mode. And uh, our wheel showed up in the sub menu. And the only bugs I've experienced is it seems like uh, in the main VPX playlist menu, it'll only remember the last version of the table that you launched within that session. So if I go all the way back out to the main VPX playlist menu and launch it, it's not going to default to pup. It's going to default to the backlash version, which was the last version I uh, launched. Uh, the other bug is, well, it's probably a programming thing. Uh, David will probably uh, be able to, you know, suss it out with a quick command line uh, in the script. Is uh, when I launch pup, uh, since I have keep displays on for my topper, I have a topper um, specifically for the back glass to stay on. So I have a zero, and it, since there's only one uh, playlist entry, uh, for the back glass version, I want I want that topper to stay on. Um, but when you launch the pup, it goes to the background, and the pup overlays it in Z order. Um, it works visually, but um, I think a more elegant solution would be to be able to kill uh, display zero when you launch a pup for the topper. Um, I could show you that. What is the one for the money? 
If I do this now, it's going to launch the back glass only version. But you can fix that by launching this one. Because this is definitely pop. So let's launch it. And I'll show you there are two uh, toppers running, one for the pop and one for the uh, uh, topper video. There's that one. And then there's that one. So, yeah, if I can get that going, it'll probably be pretty, pretty much more elegant. There it goes. That's pop. And then back to the pop media. All right. Sorry for the length of this, but. That's VPX, alt run mode, running pup pack, or just back glass. Thanks.